Tonight we're meeting with Jacqueline Hecker and Shana Clymer. Is that right? Did I say it right? Yeah. And you both are with Child Mentoring. Children's Mentoring. Connection. Children's Mentoring. And you are like a big brother, big sister relationship, and you've been together since when? 2006. Mm -hmm. Shana was six years old. I'm going to put you about kindergarten. And then how are you matched up? I don't even know. Jacqueline came to my house. She just showed up one day and said, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> What's the process for that? They, uh, you fill out an application uh, to be a mentor, and then you go through a screening process, and then the um, social workers at Children's Mentoring Connection will match you with the child that you, they think that your personality fits with. What made you want to be a mentor? Um, I did some mentoring in high school. Um, it was more of a school-based mentoring, and it was for um, younger kids, elementary school kids, that we helped them with their homework. So when I moved to Finley, um, I thought it would be a good thing for me to get involved with. Where did you move from? Uh, Huron. Okay. And that's where you went to high school? I went to high school in Huron. I went to college in Bowling Green. Process, and they matched you with Shana. Tell me how it goes from there. You showed up at her house one day? and mm -hmm. Yeah, our social worker Joy uh, brought me there uh, at the time, and we went out to Steak and Shake, I think. Good place. And we, because I think that you wanted to eat onion rings. Because at six years old, that sounds good, right? That still sounds good. Yeah. And they do have good onion rings at yeah. Steak and Shake. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, then we, it's just encouraged to meet um, a couple times a month. Um, that you can do anything from go get ice cream or um, help with homework or go to the library. We've done some bigger things though, like we went to Zoo Lights and Kalahari and Cedar Point over the years. Shana was in my wedding. Oh, very good. She's a bridesmaid. And if I remember right, you're still pretty much a newlywed. It's just yeah. over a year, isn't it? Well, no, six months. Six months. We were married in May. Congratulations. And you got to be a bridesmaid? Yeah. How was that? I was more scared than Jacqueline. And what did you have to do in it? Walk. Yeah. <laughs> Walk when you all dressed up in high heels and everything? And no, I can't wear heels because I don't want to break my everything. <laughs> we put her in flats. Put her in flats. Right. Yeah. Can't really. No, it's not going to happen. What do you remember since you were in kindergarten with Jacqueline? What what memories do you have of these past few years? Okay, I have bad memory, but... <laughs> we were making... <laughs> I can't even say it. We were making Rice Krispie treats, and... Uh, we were melting some marshmallows, <laughs> and I left the spoon in the marshmallows, and this, I didn't know where the spoon went, and then oh, no. I found it in there, after we made them. <laughs> and so, this was for school, so we just bought those little cupcakes and said I made them. <laughs> <laughs> we put them in a container <laughs> and pretended like we made them. Everybody was surprised. <laughs> I didn't make them. Why do you like having a mentor? Because... Um, I don't know. Jacqueline's just always been there. She's there when I need her. And she's there to talk to. And have you always lived in Finley? Pretty much. Born and raised, or? Yeah, I was I was born in Philly. Okay. Pretty much. I moved away a time or two, maybe. No. So as far as you know, you've lived there. Whole fourteen years. Here in Finley, all right. No deal. Do you have any pets at home? Um, yeah, I have a dog. And what's your dog's name? 
Rusty Bobo. Rusty? Yeah. <laughs> And you are in the ninth grade? Yeah. Ninth grade. What do you like about school? What's your favorite classes? None of them. None of them? Um. <laughs> That's a typical <laughs> answer. Um. Do you have a teacher that you particularly like? or Science, okay. My science teacher. Who is that? Mr. Lowe. He's pretty cool. How do you say that last name? Lauks. Is it L O C? No. No. Oh. L O U. Uh, L A U X. L A U N X. That's at Finley High School? Yeah. 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 But don't make him yell because it's just like not. It's it's scary when he yells. Oh, we won't make him yell because yeah. we're saying nice Let's things about him. Let's not make him yell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you like science because of Mr. Lauks? Not because of Mr. Lowe's, but I want to be a pediatrician. Very good. Why a pediatrician? Because I like kids, and kids like me. That's a long road. You know, you had to do well in school and go to college and more yeah, college. Know. All right. I got my future planned out. Mm -hmm. Pinterest. All right. <laughs> Where do you want to go to college? OSU. It's a good place to go. So you're a Buckeye fan then too? How about you? Are you a Buckeye fan too? Of course. Do you have a motto that you go by, Jacqueline? A motto or a creed or a saying motto. that you like? Um, I don't know. If you don't have one, that's fine. Yeah, I don't think I have a motto. How about a role model? Who was a role model for you? Okay, you're going to have to ask me these questions. Uh, okay. Uh, I would probably say my dad. Okay, tell me about him. Um, we just really get along, and he's very outgoing and outspoken and always wants to try new things. And it, he always would make a situation fun, even if it wasn't fun. You know, make the best of things. Do you have a motto or a creed that you go by? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Live like you're dying and keep moving forward. That's my motto. And I have two role models. Actually, I have a lot of them. Live like you're dying, keep moving forward. Yeah, keep moving forward. That's from that's from Meet the Robinsons. Cause you know it's a good movie. But anyways. Okay, so you tell me your role models. I have a lot, but I'll tell you two. Okay. Jacqueline. Ten, why why is Jacqueline a role model for you? Because she's successful and, I don't know, Jacqueline, are you living like Larry? <laughs> Spongebob. Spongebob Larry. <laughs> what, other, what other things does she do for you that you um, like? She to... helps me with school and with homework and she helps me with my... Like, we talk about my future. And boyfriends and things like that. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so who's another role model for you? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Alright, Miss Monroe, tell me what she does that is influence for you. I don't even know. She's freaking gorge. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe is my bae. Okay, but... <laughs> you want to be successful like Marilyn Monroe? Yeah. Right. Shana has a unique living situation, um, more so than anybody else. Her mom is blind um, and can't see at all. Um, and her dad is legally blind. Harsh. Yeah. So, Shana has a little bit different growing up being kind of, she has to take on more of a seeing and more responsibility in the house to help out her parents. How long has your mom been blind? Since I was four. Was it an illness that took her sight then? Um, she's 
She had glaucoma. Okay. So do you, you've had it be a, uh... My parents' eyes, pretty much. Yeah. Now, do your, do your parents have Braille, too, and things like that at home, or...? Um, my mo I'm not sure my mom can read Braille. She might say she can, but she can't. <laughs> um, my dad kind of can. Okay. But they have some cool things, like her mom's phone talks to her, and the computer talks to her. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, and she has this thing. She can put money in and tells yeah. her the, like, currency. Denominations. Yeah. And then she has this thing she puts on clothes, and it tells her what color it is. Really? Yeah. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. That's cool. You didn't know that. No, she just, is it like a camera that... I don't even know. It's like the scanner thing. You click a button. A scanner? Okay. Yeah, I don't even know. Scanner sounds like a good word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Good deal. And so you have to help with the younger brothers? Well, my other brother doesn't live with me. My youngest brother. Okay. He lives in Arizona with his mom. Okay. He's my half-brother. All right. So you have one brother at home then? And you help out with him then? How old is he? He's going to be 10. Okay. And he's annoying. So he's pretty self-sufficient then? He can get dressed and um, feed himself? And no, he acts like a baby. So, do you have little brothers? <laughs> he acts like a baby. All right. So I do it for him. Yeah. Right. I have a little brother, so I understand. <laughs> so you're kind of a mom to him. I yeah. take offense to that. I'm six of six. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very, very cool. That is a, something that matures you very quickly, doesn't it? When you. Yeah, but. I'm not that mature. I would but, say so. I, I mean, for the most part, but Disney's life. <laughs> that could be another quote. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I have nothing further for you. Um, another role model, Walt Disney. Mm. You like Walt? I love Walt Disney. I would marry him if he was alive. Just kidding, that's gross. But. <laughs>